drifts the puck in around behind the net. And the Oilers back to play it. Peter White driven down. The Perrier in the corner, and then it came out to center ice, and Eakins lined up the youngster Ryan Smith, the 19-year-old of Edmonton, and Eakins goes off for charging. Lance Roberts right there watching the play, and he makes the call, so Edmonton will get the first power play. Meanwhile, just prior to that, as I mentioned, Ian LaPerriere, boy, he doesn't pass up a hit, and he had a tremendous one in the Oilers' end. By Norton to Tegan and out of Norton. Tegan and Corton all in course and on the line. Big check. Ryan Markson, boy, you have to keep your head up, and he hits you low. He came all the way across and hit Jeff Corton. But Hall coming back, bothering Maltby, looking for Smith in the slot. They feed him put right in the crease. Well, we just alluded to it. You cannot afford to take a lot of penalties. No, and in front of the net is Chris Pronger, and he got tied up with one of the Oilers players. He just simply gave him a two-hander across the stick or across the arm. So he looked like the Edmonton player tried to duck down on the play before getting hit. Perrier had his stick up, but the contact initially was with the body, and Lance Roberts made, made the call anyway. He got him mostly with body, but he had the stick up. And Edmonton controls Olison to Bookberger. Back to Frederick Olison. Boy, Bookberger sent flying by LaPerriere. Long pass, Marsha. Behind the defense, breaks and shoots. And a save by Pure. A penalty will be called. Marsha ends up going heavily into the boards. And the Blues are going to be shorthanded. Now some bumping and shoving back at the other end. Back the other way, LaPerriere charging into the Edmonton end. Can't get a shot, knocked down. He scores! The puck deflects in! A second effort! A second effort by LaPerriere! In the Edmonton end, here is Noonan trying to work in front. He shoots! And that puck deflects wide. Gilbert has lost his glove. Noonan trying to keep the puck in, does now a fight. Eakins of the Blues. Oh, we got punches going right and left. And they grab on. Thornton and Eakin. Boy, Thornton can throw him. And Eakin is pretty good himself. They're letting him go. Thornton, with his right hand already throbbing, comes up from below. Couple of shots to Eakins. Eakins is known as an aggressive, good fighter. And Scott Thornton has been throwing him hard and often. That's a pretty good fight if you like to see some real connection. I don't know how many really landed, but they were throwing them over and over and over again, and Eakins is cut. Eakins will go off. So will Thornton. 9.54 to go here in period two. 4-1, the Blues lead it. Last little defection. And then Eakins and Thornton. Scott Thornton is the aggressor here. He gets two minutes for instigating. They each get five for fighting, and Thornton gets a game misconduct. He didn't take much time between punches, did he? No. <laughs> to Corson, now to Pronger, over to McInnes. He'll shoot in front. Hall oh, scores! That's four! Brett Hall! And it's 5-1 Blues! Four Brett Hall goals tonight here in the home opener. The Blues will be shorthanded again as Jeff Norton came back into the play and then with a slash across the left arm of Todd Marchand, he'll go off, Lance Roberts makes the call, the Blues had just finished killing off a penalty and they'll be shorthanded again. For Edmonton, their 10th power play, where they trail the Blues 5-1. So Edmonton on the power play this season, 0 for 17. So Tekanen, and Tekanen takes a tremendous hit from David Oliver behind the net. A little stutter step, and I believe the left leg of LaPerriere just sticks it out, catches him with the leg or the foot. Now you can see, just see him. He lifts his leg up, knocks Miranoff down. Miranoff feels it a little bit. He gets helped off the ice. And oh, he, he has gets, a good time. He kids oh, he around a lot. Yeah. He loves it. I mean, he's kicking and chopping and punching. and Players trying to understand what he's saying. From the Blues, Noonan through center ice. Right chases him. Big, big check on Newman by Miranoff, and there's going to be a penalty. And it'll be a tripping penalty on Boris Miranoff. Looked like he threw a pretty decent hip check. Now Jay Wells is after Miranoff. Then LaPerriere having words with another Oilers player. 
And tempers are a bit on edge here. Well, Kenny, I tend to agree with you. I thought it was a pretty good hit. Like he turned and got his hip out there. It looked like a good hit to me. A lot of hip. I think he surprised Noonan on the play. By the time Noonan controlled the puck and then was able to get his, his head up, it was interference. Courtnell was behind the play, and Schlager just came all the way from the other side of the ice, jumped in front of him, in front of Lance Roberts. The Blues score a victory over the Oilers. Grant Fuhr is terrific. The final is 5-3. The Blues a successful home opener to the 95-96 season.